This is the latest project from the man who brought us movies like Okja and Snowpiercer. And I gotta be honest, I've never been the biggest fan of his movies. But I still like those and I recognize that he is a very skilled filmmaker. I mean, he knows what he's doing and those movies felt very fresh and original. And interesting too, not just another remake or a sequel, they felt like something different. And it's pretty much undeniable that he has very unique sensibilities. No one really makes movies like he does, they feel very specific to him. This one though did look a bit more down to earth and conventional I guess you could say. At least on the surface. And unlike those two, with this one he goes back to his roots and the movie is mostly in Korean. And the story is essentially about this low income family who's struggling to make ends meet. And through an interesting series of events, they get involved with this much wealthier family. And that's about as much as I'm gonna say about the actual plot here. Because a lot of the fun of this movie was discovering what's gonna happen next. And I mean, to me at least, this was a fairly unpredictable movie. There were quite a few unexpected twists and turns in this one. Things that just sort of came out of nowhere and made me go, oh, okay then. And you know, it's a bit of a strange one too, it gets sort of dark sometimes. But at the same time, there's almost always this comedic element to it too. And at the end of the day, I would almost want to call this a tragic comedy. It just finds a way to make almost any situation funny in a twisted sort of way. Even when it does get dark and tragic, which isn't all the time. I mean, it starts off kind of lighthearted, but the further it goes, the darker and more twisted it gets. And I gotta admit, the first 45 minutes or so weren't super engaging to me. It took a while to establish itself properly and to really get going. But once it did get going, I was kind of hooked, I just wanted to see what would happen next. And as I said, this one had a few surprises up its sleeve too. So it kept me guessing and that kept it interesting and I found that to be really engaging. And while some of the things that happen in this movie are kind of out there, and I wouldn't necessarily call this the most grounded or realistic movie ever made, I feel like it still made sense in the context of the movie itself. It sort of managed to create this isolated little world where the story takes place. A world with its own rules and logic where strange things can happen and you don't really question it. Although I will say a few things here and there kind of pushed my suspension of disbelief a bit too far. A couple of tiny details just made me go, eh, I'm not so sure about that one. But for the most part, the bigger picture, I didn't really have any issues with it. And here's the thing too, from a purely technical perspective, this thing is gorgeous. This is a very well made and well crafted movie on pretty much every level. I don't think there was even one moment where I would have changed something. Where I would have felt like the filmmaking itself didn't work or could have been better. And the acting too, I mean, all the performances are pretty much spot on. I especially like the young woman who played the daughter. And no, I'm not even gonna try with these Korean names. But yeah, the daughter, she was just hilarious with all these little things she did. These little nuances in her performance that just made every scene with her a little bit funnier. But the rest of the cast was really good too, I can't really complain about any of them. In fact, I don't really know if I have any genuine complaints worth mentioning about the movie in general. I will say though that for some reason I still didn't quite love it. And I'm not sure why it just didn't quite hit that right frequency with me. But yeah, it's most definitely not a bad movie. In fact, it's actually pretty good. And I could absolutely see some people loving this thing. However, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd say it's definitely worth checking out. So maybe do that. Or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.